okay, this I want to do a series of videos on bass. And I'll start off with basic stuff and go into more advanced stuff. And you'll see them all uploaded separately. So this one is just getting used to finger style, not the pick. We're going to use fingers. So if you've been playing bass and used a pick and want to try fingers, or you're starting out and want to try out how to play bass with fingers, etc. I'll show you a few things to get started with that'll help. One is um, the attack position of the, the, the hand that's going to pick the strings. All right, so a lot of people will play hitting this way. And you hear that crappy sound? It's the strings hitting the pickups. It sounds really bad. So if you play really soft, it's okay. But you're going to have a really, have to have a really good amplifier and setup and everything to even make yourself heard. And if you hit a little bit harder, you're going to be way too loud. It's better to just be able to play kind of more full volume, in my opinion. Um, of course, dynamics are good, but you want to be able to do both. So practice full volume, that's the hardest, where you're going to attack the strings more with the fingers. <laughs> doing is instead of hitting this way against the string I'm gonna pluck upwards more so I it's helpful to rest your thumb on a pickup depending on your bass where the pickup is some bases even have that little thumb rest thing some of the fenders and Rickenbackers you don't even need to rest your thumb but it's it, I think it's helpful So that makes a big difference. Then we have um, muting techniques. But first, before we go into that, I'll do a different video on muting techniques. So let's just get used to using our fingers. We want to first start with alternating between the first two fingers. Um, I think it's a matter of feel and what you like to do. For me, I like to start on the one with my middle finger, and then the two is my index finger. So if I'm playing quarter notes, it's like... Then the next thing is accents. So let's play eighth notes where it's one and two and three and four and. So I'm hitting the one harder, that's making the accent. So the one's a little bit louder. And that way, if you haven't hitting the same note for a long time, you know where the one is. One, and it gives a feeling. Practice it slow, like. Then you can put the accent on the one and three. I started to do that anyways. Try it at first, just don't worry about left hand, hold an open note or a fret, whatever, and just work on one string. Then when you work on the next string down, doesn't matter if it's a five string or four string or six string or 20 string. Top string, I'm gonna use my thumb on the pickup for a rest. Next string down, I start to rest my thumb usually on the, the top string. It will depend, but. keep my thumb I start resting on the string when I move downwards I have a weird technique too where my thumb will slide down the strings that's gonna go into string muting which I said I'll do another video on but that's it put a metronome on and practice just Experiment with where you plot too. Closer to the bridge, the tension's stronger. It's not gonna be as loud usually, and it's um, more treble. Closer to the neck. You're gonna hear a change in tone and kind of feel of the 
strings. So practice those. And um, the hardest thing with working with playing with fingers is working up endurance and stamina, so you can do it for a long time at a steady tempo. And also, you're gonna get blisters, I guarantee. And those, um, yeah, they sting and then they turn into calluses. So if, as long as you practice every day, your, your blisters will just be a short period of time and then you've got leather fingers. That's it for this part and I'm gonna be doing a lot more tonight. So they'll be coming up soon.